We know that a lot of food comes from this region and this district. However, it suffices to note that uh, most of our farmers produce foods that are mainly cash based. They produce uh, maize, they produce Irish potatoes, beans, and these are mostly sold. If you look at the sub counties of Butunduzi, if you look at uh, Nyankwanzi, Abufunjo, these people are purely producing items that they sell. And this, that means that uh, the storage uh, or household storage capacity of this food is very limited. And this results into malnutrition that we are seeing in most of the children in our wards. A number of increase, an increase in the number of TB cases among children. And especially, these are either malnourished or children that are newly diagnosed with HIV. So a comorbidity, say HIV or TB, will easily push a child into malnutrition. And that's why we are seeing an increase in the number of cases. I have a full ward of malnourished children. I haven't seen any malnourished person in my life, so today was my first time. I would hear about them, would study about them, but they have swollen cheeks, they have swollen stomach, red hair. A whole ward has kids with malnutrition. How does a child get malnourished in Chenjojo? A very fertile place where it's evergreen, a lot of food everywhere. It should be happening elsewhere, not here.